Hey everybody, Sean here. Got some more vinyl finds for you. I got a chance to go to the flea market that's in my town that has a record store in it. And yeah, I got some good stuff. They had a deal going on. It was all the three dollar records were a dollar, so I get nine records for nine dollars. Anyway, first off, we have Roxy Music Siren. Pretty decent album. It's on Atco too. If you guys can see that. Yeah. Not my favorite Roxy Music I own, but it was all right. We have the Go Go's Vacation. Vacation, do, 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 do. yeah. Cheesy '80s, new wavy pop kind of stuff. But I like that kind of stuff every now and again. I get it. I get in the mood for it. Next we have Blondie's Hunter. Really pretty beat up copy, but the actual record itself is in good condition. This is good. I was uh, a little bit leery going in because it's one of their later albums and. Most of the time I find the later releases from a band are not as good as the earlier ones. So yeah, a little bit leery, but I had no reason to be. It's quite good. Then we have Wild Cherries, Electrified Funk. See this record around a couple times. But it's always like five, ten bucks, so I've never gotten hits, but it's off for a dollar. I thought I'd give it a go. I haven't bought a funk album in a while. And I am a funk fan. Next we have the Alan Parsons Project. Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe. It's a cool concept album. A little spiel about Alan Parsons and what he's done. Yeah, pretty good. I enjoyed it. I'm always a concept album fan, so it's always neat. This album I did not enjoy, unfortunately. It's Cleveland's Encore, 50 Minutes of Total Insanity. Didn't I just didn't like it. It's like a one or two minutes of just a bunch of different uh, covers, like they do Satisfaction, Space Oddity, Woke It Fooled Again, White Rabbit, they just do it really quickly and not very well, and move on and they connect it all, and it's, it is not totally insane, I can tell you that. It looked good and it was a dollar though, so I, you know, I grabbed it real quick. Shouldn't have, but they, you know, you don't take a chance. You, ne you never know. You never learn new. Never learn about new bands. So. Another chance I took actually. Blood Rock too. Really good band. 1970s, you know, hard rock from Texas. This is on Capitol Records too. Yeah, it was good stuff. Hard rock. Blood Rock too. I I think that's actually the first album too. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Now we have Rick Wakeman. Myths and Legends of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Love me some Rick Wakeman. Like the Lady in the Lake imagery on the back too. Sword and Stone's pretty alright. AM Records. Made in Eigencourt, Ontario. How about that? Yeah, I don't want this hole punch. I hate when that happens. Yeah, it was a good album, though. Definitely pick it up if you like Rick Wakeman and you don't own it. Oh, uh, this last one I was pretty excited to find. It's The Association. Yeah, the uh, the cover is pretty, pretty beat, but the album's in good condition. Really like the gatefold on this. really dig this stuff. This is my first association record. I'd definitely be looking for more hole punch, yeah, you know, but what can you do? And it's on Warner Brothers, I believe. Let's pull this son of a gun out. Yeah, on Warner Brothers. You get a sleeve for this. Well, those are the records I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, have a good one.